Hello and welcome to another episode of Uncle Bill's Kitchen. Today we are going to show you how to make Taiwanese tamping. Oh, so delicious. Every morning you can go to your breakfast shop in your neighborhood in Taiwan and pick one of these up. It is a traditional breakfast food that you are going to love and it's super easy. Now to get started we have to make our crepe. What we're going to do is we're going to take two tablespoons of cornstarch and put that into a larger mixing bowl. We're going to take about a half cup of all-purpose flour and we're going to mix that all together. Then we're going to slowly incorporate water. Now this is going to be a very loose batter, kind of like pancake batter. So you're just going to add the water slowly and surely. You don't want to have too much, but uh, it's going to be loose. Just like what you see here, you just want to incorporate that slowly. One of my favorite all-time dishes in Taiwan are, well, just about every breakfast dish that you can come up with. They've got this dan bean, they have another type of pancake that they make, definitely worth a try. Now some people, I know, you're going to think, what are you doing, Uncle Bill? Are you showing us how to make bacon? That's right. In this episode, we're going to show you how to make bacon. Now you take some bacon, put it in a cold pan, and turn that heat up to medium high. And then once it starts cooking, like what you see here, you're going to hit that subscribe button and make sure to like this video because, hey, this video is awesome and you're learning how to cook. You want to support my channel, don't you? All right, now, I like to flip my bacon a lot because I like the bacon to stay in its shape. And I like to keep an eye on it. Once it starts to fry up, it goes pretty quick. So you're not going to want to go anywhere. See how that's looking? Mmm, bacon. Just makes everything taste better, doesn't it? All right, once we get some browning going on the other side, we're going to flip it over again. You're going to notice the ends are going to start to stick up a little bit. Don't worry, I got a fix for that. Just make sure to keep an eye on the center portion. Mmm, look at that. All right, a few more minutes have passed. This whole process takes about 10 minutes, but I didn't feel that you guys would want to sit here and watch me fry bacon for 10 minutes, so I've sped this up. I hope you don't mind. We're going to flip this over again, and now you're going to see how I purse the center of the bacon up. And what that does is it pushes the edges down so that they start to fry and you don't end up overcooking your bacon. Pretty cool idea, eh? Flip it over again. Looking good, looking good. Oh, this is going to be so delicious. Beautiful. All right, we're almost ready here. I'm gonna take the bacon out of this pan and put it onto a napkin to drain. I also like to keep the bacon drippings for other recipes that I cook in the future. You should too. Bacon grease is just like bacon, just makes everything taste better. Mm. All right, let's build this bad boy. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is heat up a pan, put some oil in that bad boy, and we're gonna put about a third cup of the batter into your pan. Swish it around. Make sure that liquid's covering the entire base of the pan. Make sure you're using a non-stick pan. Now you're gonna start seeing these bubbles form. That's a good sign. That means we're almost ready to flip this bad boy over. And whoop, just like that. Take a look. A little browning on the edges is what you wanna see. Now again, we're just making the bean, which is the pancake basically. And that is going to be the beginning of what we are going to create, which is dan bean. Now, put a little more oil in a pan. Take our egg. We're gonna crack that bad boy sunny side up. Make sure to add a little salt and pepper to taste. Always be seasoning. And then once the egg starts to cook up, we're going to place our bean on top of that. And then what you're going to want to do is squish, 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 squish. 
just mush all of that egg yolk all over the bottom of that bean it's going to cover the entire bottom and it's going to make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and make sure to get that notification bell that way you know every time a new video comes out now once we flip this over we've got that nice browning on the egg we're going to put a little piece of cheese and then we're going to put that bacon right there and then we're going to fold it just like you would any other crepe get a little extra eggy eggy on the outside don't worry just take it off what we're wanting to see is this nice little golden brown start to happen crunchiness oh it's just amazing take that over to our cutting board and then we're going to slice this into about one inch slices like so and then we're going to just go ahead and put that on a plate now, I know you think we're done, but oh, I've got a special thing for you here. We're going to make some sauce. Now, here we're just taking about a tablespoon and a half of light soy sauce. We're going to take some black vinegar, which is what I had. If you don't, just take a little splash of white rind vinegar. And then we're going to take about half a teaspoon of oyster sauce. Mix that all together nicely into this little bowl. Mmm. Now... Just drizzle, lightly drizzle. You don't want to put too much, just enough to give it a little bit of flavor. If you want to add some color, take some green onions, chop those up and put those on top of this as well. Beautiful, delicious, quick and inexpensive. When I first learned the recipe to this don bean, I was so surprised to see how easy it was to make. I definitely recommend it for your family. Thanks for stopping by Uncle Bill's Kitchen. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell so you get notifications of when new episodes come out. And don't forget to like this video so others like you can know this is where you go to get your recipes.